Hello everyone, welcome back to another Midwall Battle Report. Um, today's game is going to be Breakthrough and it's going to be uh, Armoured Fist against uh, Iron Cross with a few support options from Ghost Panzers. So I'm playing as the British and I am attacking this game and I have three formations. Um, my first formation is a Crusader Squadron and they are HQ consisting of two Crusader 2s and two close support Crusaders and then there's five troops of three Crusaders of which um, they are two six pounders in each troop. Um, second formation is a Henny squadron. So I have a HQ of three and then two troops of three Hennies. Uh, so as you can see here, not much high explosives uh, in this list. Second formation is a motor company consisting of the HQ. Two full platoons, so that's four rifle brand gun teams, a knee mortar and a boys anti tag rifle. In this formation as well is three universal carriers and two three inch mortars. And in support are four 25 pounders and a Henny OP. And I had three spear points for command cards, so I'm using an LRDG raid and a artillery expert card. So um, hopefully if my opponent has anti-tank guns, I can rearrange my artillery on their first turn using the artillery experts. And if he gets lucky with his rolls, I can make him re-roll it and hope he's lucky a second time. So this is my list, and then we'll be going over to my opponents. Well, my opponent uh, Andy has turned up with his German army. Looks very, very lovely painted army. The Stukas are in, obviously, start off the game, and that's why they're not here. Um, so, what has Andy brought? He has bought a Grenadier company. So he has his HQ, and he has two platoons uh, of seven stands. And included in that is a HMG and an anti-tank gun. Also in the formation is a sniper team, three five centimeter anti-tank guns, and he also has some mortars. In support, he has some um, SDKFZ 221s and 222s. Uh, obviously this is the Iron Cross variant, so only three. Two Panthers, which is great, and three Marders. So for the anti-tank gun of these units, a really overkill for what I've got. And of course, we have the Stukas and an extra point for command cards. No, one point? Do you wanna take Lucky? Yeah, yeah Lucky. Okay, so we're doing breakthroughs, so Andy gets the choice of which quad quadrants he wants to defend. And we'll get back to it. Uh, so here's my deployment, uh, Andy was very precise and meticulous in his deployment, being very careful, looking where templates could go down and limiting uh, casualties, and I've done this, more of like a sneeze of uh, British camo, um, of course I've got numbers so I don't really care about them, they're probably Australian troops so they don't really count as casualties. Uh, the Germans have their marders over here, hidden, so please these crusaders can move up quite quick and the scout cars are over here and then we have a platoon with the mortars and the HQ over here pretty much already contesting this objective uh, in reserve Andy's put his panthers his infantry is five centimeters are in ambush and his snipers are too and also the stukas are in ambush uh, not in ambush in reserve I've opted for a split of each formation to go in my reserves because I didn't really know what the point reserve, so I just did that. So one of each. Yeah. So I get first turn. Good luck, Andy. I think I might need it more than him. So I'll summarise what happens after movement. Uh, so this is my movement, um, this lot of all tactical moves, I would have liked to have dashed these honeys but the enemy are too close. Uh, a lot of these have tactical moved, um, just the two honeys and the crusader command, everything else just dashed, dashed around and uh, spot the one that failed this follow me test. Uh, there's two of them actually. Right, so, time for some artillery first, I think. 
and uh, hopefully I might pick off a murder or two. Should be nice. Well, yeah, really, if you're yeah, lucky. Um, so my shooting is summarised by this is the solo kill I got. Uh, I did range in two batteries, uh, 25 pounders, and the mortars have ranged in, and I've pinned down the HQ and the platoon. Oh, wait a sec, and I did kill a HQ team. Yes, I did. Awesome. So that's one whole point. Excellent. Right, so Andy. Andy has no build up tanks, but he has two pinned down infantry teams, so he has to rally in his start up step. Let's go on, Andy. Roll the dice. No? Roll them? So, Andy's uh, motivation, uh, he rallied uh, the platoon, but the formation commander uh, isn't happy by the look of it. Uh, no reserves have come in for the Germans, unfortunately. Uh, we haven't rolled for aircraft yet. Oh, okay. My, my bad. Uh, the 5 centimeter anti tank guns have appeared, though. And of course, because they're not large guns, they can be within 4 inches of concealment, which is good for them. Um, for movement, the Marders failed the Blitz and have moved here. So at least one Marder has two shots. And the Scouts have moved here and as you can see a follow me was not completed so that is the state of things I will probably see a few dead crusaders this turn a few yeah. maybe one or two troops dead we'll see okay right so Andy will do some shooting and I'll recap what's happened uh, so Andy bailed a tank over here with the Marders and over here was where it got a bit hairy for me unfortunately lost a whole unit of uh, Crusaders to the five centimeters and I lost uh, one of the HQ units as well not good over here those guns are not very nice so I have my motivation step so I have two bailed out tanks so lucky this part of the motivation for the British isn't too bad so we have a Crusader here who is not back in and the CS is back in. Excellent. Um, and apart from that, I have nothing else to do. Right, I'm letting Andy uh, do his um, 2.8 centimetre gun onto the honeys, yeah? Alright, oh, I'll, I'll stop recording. Uh, so what happened was the 2.8 centimetre hit the honey, I failed my armour save, he failed his firepower, I then failed my remount, got a reroll and he got back in, so uh, it, nothing happened. So I'm going to go into my movement. Uh, so this is the end of my movement. I have remained these guys where they are since they could see some stuff and the rest I moved around. Uh, I have uh, the honeys on the road over here. Um, I might actually move my infantry as well over before I uh, go into shooting. Uh, these guys I have put behind the cover of their dead comrades and the honeys and universal carriers are making their way over and these guys are hiding. Uh, so, I have got rid of the Marders at last, I bailed out one of the scout cars, I pinned down lots of stuff, but didn't kill anything, because that's how good machine guns are. So, we're obviously we're in turn two. So Andy has some reserve, uh, not reserves, morale to make, lots of morale, and then he'll have some reserves coming in. So I'll get back to you on what happened. Uh, so Andy unpinned everything apart from the infantry platoon and the scout car remains bailed out. That's very unfortunate because that is the two centimetre gun. It's two centimetres, isn't it? Yeah. Right, one of them. He's got two. Right, so we'll get to see what the Germans are going to move, if they move anything. Probably the scout guys, because they got some sweet side shots in these bad boys. 
Uh, this is German movement. Uh, the scout cars have moved to here. Done. Shooting. Uh, so, German shooting. They had a few pot shots at all my stuff in the crossroads. Uh, no successes here. Over here is where the most success happened. The five centimeters have done very well. I've never seen them do this well for me. Uh, so there's two bales and a dead tank and uh, also a base from the three inch mortar has gone. So um, obviously doesn't affect me apart from the last stand testing from now on. But oh well. So my turn three. I have motivation. So I have a bailed out crusader who is back in. I have a bailed out Crusader CS who's back in and a other one who's back in. And I have a pin down unit here that is still pinned and last stand still in. And then I have a reserve roll when dice reserves. No. Okay, so I'll get into my movement and then we'll see what has happened. So here's my movement on this flank, everything's moving, hopefully I might take out a few more uh, scout cars, you never know. And over here I've moved the honeys and universal carriers over on this flank as well, and the honeys are moving a bit in the crossroad area as well. And that is my turn. So now I'm going into shooting and hopefully I'll get the 25 pounders ranged in this time. Uh, so I've managed to kill a scout car. And that's it. I've pinned the five centimeter guns again, uh, and I am going to be going into an assault. Yeah. So uh, wish the honeys good luck. So the assault went quite well for me. I lost a tank to defensive fire from the uh, anti-tank gun and I killed the HMG and a rifle platoon so they've had to fall back. Um, and I, we did have a secondary measure of the 5cm guns and it was just out. So it's German turn 3 and we're going to see if they motivate anything and they will get reserves in but most importantly how many. So what we have is the infantry platoon has rallied and they also dug in. The five centimeters remain pinned and Andy has rolled for reserves and there they are. Two panthers forward facing very narrow angle for me to get behind, very at narrow, but there we go, Three, uh, two panthers on, and now we're going into Andy's moves, I think this is probably his moves. Okay, so we will summarise what these managed to kill. Uh, as you can expect, the panthers have uh, done a good job, yeah, very good job, and there we go. So, uh, we're going into my turn four. I have, oh yes, these guys got bailed out again by the five centimeter gun, so I am going to be bailing them back in, the CS, and the two pounder cocked. He's back in and the CS gets a reroll. Uh, and he doesn't want to get back in. Fair enough. The mortars, are they going to rally? They don't. Do they run? They do. And do, does my crusader run? Yes. And then I have two dice for reserves. No reserves. Damn. Okay, so we'll get into my movement. Uh, I have dashed my remaining tanks in this left flank behind cover. 
uh, these guys have road dashed. Um, the honeys are moving up the road, looking for some assaults. Uh, the infantry are skipping across buildings again. Universal carriers are um, forgetting how big they are. Although um, these five centimeter guns could just go straight through their armor. And then the honeys are by here. So I think I might try to do a bombardment on the Panthers. Maybe one of them at least. Uh, with my machine guns I killed a rifle team. I pinned down a few things, mainly the Grenadier platoon, and I killed a scout car with my 25 pounders. So I would say this turn is looking pretty good for me. And now I'm going to do some assaults and see how that goes. So my assaults went pretty well. I thought, why not chuck the universal carriers into an assault? Uh, one of them failed to get into the... Well, he'd be here, wouldn't he? But then he moved there. Right? And they killed the five centimeter guns. Well, they killed one, and then two, they failed the uh, counterattack. And because they are so slow, they all died. And then these honeys here assaulted an infantry team by here, and they killed them. And the grenadiers failed their morale check again. Unfortunate. Uh, I then was tempted to assault with my honeys by here, but I felt it may be better just to have them stick around for just a little bit more. Uh, and that was my turn. So now we're going into the German turn four. So they have um, a rally test on the grenadiers and a remount for the scout cars. Is it pinned down by machine guns? So the German player, the Grenadiers, have not rallied, which isn't good, and the scout car didn't get back in, but he rolled a mighty five, and they're still in the game, and he has successfully brought in reserves, so you have the choice of Stukas or infantry, or your sniper team. Oh, they're in ambush. Oh, never mind. No. So the Panthers have got a bail on the honey, and a Stuka came in and bailed out a Crusader, and the mortars managed to pin some infantry here, and that was what happened. So my motivation step: I have a bailed out Crusader here, who's back in. I have a bailed out Crusader CS, who's back in the game, and I also have a pinned uh, or a bit another bailed out honey over here who's still bailed out and a pinned down infantry team which is unpinned and now I have three dice for reserves and I do get them in so I'm going to be bringing in my infantry team infantry platoon uh, 16 inches isn't it so I can get them in dig them in hopefully in time and see how it goes so I'll get back to you after movement. Uh, my crusaders have stayed put. These honeys have dashed over. My crusaders, which we were taking a pound in through most of this game, have moved over here as well. Uh, these have uh, dashed over as well, and these guys are forming up. And I got the universal carriers out of the woods as well, which is all uh, all looking quite good for me at the moment. So, we're going into shooting. I guess I'll uh, try and do some artillery rounds again, if I can see anything. Probably can't. So basically, this turn was spent behind the um, mounting of a machine gun, for me. Uh, didn't get many kills. I pinned a few things, though. The, the 25 pounders, um, on a second time of asking, managed to range in on the Panthers, but it was to no avail because I did not hit any. But I do have some assaults this turn. 
So let's go. Um, so the assaults were mixed bag. Um, I lost two of my universal carriers. Well, that, that's what they're there for. Uh, the honeys uh, have killed a couple of the mortars. So they've moved them out of the way. And these honeys had to pull back after a while. But I didn't lose any, which is quite good. And I managed to murder the sniper team, which is also quite good. So we're going into the German turn five. We have two, three pinned tests for me and a remount for the scouts and I'll get back to you. Right then, so far for motivation, the formation commander and grenadier platoon failed, but the mortars didn't. The, the, oh, sorry, the formation commander passed. That shouldn't be there then. Uh, but the grenadier platoon is still pinned, unfortunately. And the grenadiers turned up, and also the stukas have uh, turned up as well, again. So, uh, away, we can't see them because they're high in the sky. I uh, will take that one, yeah, 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 uh, yes, he didn't leave him at home at all. Um, right, so we're going into the German movement. Uh, so the Germans have moved, this is what they've done, uh, so the Stukas are probably going to mess up a lot of stuff. Ah, oh, they're, they're going where the objective is, no. Right, German shooting, the Panthers have bailed out two of the Honeys long range and the 2.8 centimetre gun fired at the Honeys as well. Um, so he double bailed him but the Honey didn't care, he shook that off. The Stukas did a bombing run by here and they have pinned down the rifle team and that is it for now. And I think Andy was measuring for an assault with his formation commander. Yes he was. So uh, you'll move that in and then my Honeys will fire. So, Andy did not assault, so going into my turn six, I started on the objective and I ended it on the objective, so that is a minor victory to me. So as you can see, there's a lot of burning cruiser tanks around, and as we can both say, we both really enjoyed that game. And I did what cruiser tanks are meant to do, they cruised around and they did some stuff. And for some reason, the Hennies turned out to be an excellent assault tank. Second only to the Universal Carriers, who uh, didn't do so well after that. They got a bit cocky, but uh, no, it was a really good game. Nice to meet Andy. Uh, learned a lot from each other. Um, like the bits of the rules both of us have missed, but I think it's made us all good players, better players all around. So there we go. So tune in for more videos.